And in the 60s, it was a marvelous time to be in England because every idea in the English speak in English speaking world, I mean, it could be Jap, Jap but it was translated and it passed through London. It was a very exciting time. I produced uh, Clap Hands there, the review that had been so successful in Canada. And I thought, you know, I'll keep it so that don't do too much Canadian stuff. And I had two or three uh, sketches, really Canadian stuff. Well, the press, which loved the show, said, we've got it. Why didn't you do it all Canadian? We don't know anything about Canada. This is, gives us some idea of what's going on there. So tell me a bit about Clap Hands. It is a satirical review? It was a satirical review that I always rented this theater to put it in. It's um, 57, 56 or 50, no, not 57, because I was at Stratford 57, but 55, 56, no. 56, 58, I think. Anyway, the late 50s. Um, it was a satirical review, Canadian review, Maver, everybody. The, the difficulty was getting good people to write for it. But, but you, know. you produced it. I produced it, yeah. You conceived and it, drove it, yeah. produced it. Yeah, yeah. But How anyway. did you find writers for Clap Hands? Uh, well, Jack Gray, I was married to Jack Gray, who was a writer, and he organized the, the writing end of it, really. and. They, I think the show was divided into 20 points or 40 points or something. And if you had two sketches, you got two points, which is 2% of. Right. So the, they got percentages. And the actors got percentages after we hit a certain um, expenses. And this is a sketch review, or did you have music in it as well? It was music in it as well. And the musicians, you know, saddled us with five musicians who used to play cards downstairs. I had um, uh, two women pianists for my music. Right. You know. And how so, would you choose uh, sketches or subjects or w would it be political or social? Some satire of it was political, some of it was, I mean there was just everything. We, I mean we had a sketch on, um, uh, oh Lord, <clears throat> the pianist. Glenn Gould? Glenn Gould. We had a Glenn Gould sketch. We had a sketch on Morani and Mars, which were the big architects of the time. Right. And, you know, uh, we had um, playful sketches, visual sketches, all kinds of things. Uh, Eric House was really the brains behind of getting the, the different um, variety in it all. He, he, was, he was his own worst enemy, of course. You know, oh, no, that's no good. But he, ha he was just um, that mind, just, you know. So he was a kind of a dramaturge of it? Or no, he, he wasn't. He was an actor in it. Right. But he had the idea. I mean, uh, The Plates it was a show that everybody adored. And we started out in chef's outfit and just passing plates to music. And then it gets buggered up and then they have to keep doing it and they and and the audience watches this going back and watches this intricate thing and the, you know whatever they just loved it and the big thing was I can see Eric doing that yes and then the, the climax which happened in England too and I have never seen people laugh so hard I mean you know they're just rolling and this was three boys three men uh, Davy Gardner and Eric and I can't, uh, Peter Muse, I think, certainly did it once. They come out with menus, and uh, I think it was tea for two, and they start, you know, pretending that they're women uh, doing a dance to this, right. with, and covering with the, with the, uh, and, you know, each other, just the three men, and it just gets very, very, I mean, they're fully clothed, of course, but I mean, this, and it just brought, I mean, you just As in went burlesque, on. as in the striptease. Yeah, as in the, the striptease, menus. yes, right. with the yeah. menus. Right. And it went on, you know, and it, would, it just brought, that we ended David always Gardner, in that. David Gardner, Eric House, and, and Peter Muse. Yeah. Those are the three? The three, well, yeah, certainly the first year. Because we repeated that in England, and they just, you know, went mad for and it. And what too. drove you to be a producer of a Because there were things that were happening, and I wasn't part of it. They were doing something, and I was having another child or something. I mean, I had five, so you had to, you know. And you just get a contract signed, and you'd say, you know, 
what happened to your face? And they said, you know, what? And what are all those spots? You know, measles. Or, you know, and then mumps. You know, there'd be something. And you knew it was going to go through all the five. Right. And I, uh, and, and we all survived. I don't know how, but. So the know. entrepreneurial part of Arabic. Yes, just, I, I mean, just do it. create some projects yes. if I'm going to keep yes, and in we, the business. And, so and um, the historical one, uh, spare rib was ahead of its time. I mean, now we did everything. We started with Maria Chapdelaine, went right through to uh, uh, Emily Murphy, who was the first female judge of the, in the British Empire and was out west, born here, but right. out west, yeah. And spring thaw and clap hands. Spring thaw is another satirical. It, it was. Com and, and how and did it the, was were the two complementary or? No, um, the spring thaw by that time was. Um, uh, more uh, New york -y. This was poking fun at Toronto and Canada. It was much more politically right. set up and more outré on the way of sketches. Right. You know. And did anyone it, ever record any of it? Yes, I think there are recordings of it somewhere. I mean, I'd heard of Spring Thaw, but I didn't know. I didn't know when I started hearing about Clap Hands a couple of weeks ago. Oh, oh boy, that's interesting. Yeah, it was a very successful show. I just did two. Then I did it in England. We played the lyric and then the Prince Charles, and that was 1963 when everything. It was snowing. It was freezing cold. Right. And I don't know if you know London, but I would come out of the theater at night, and be the only person in Leicester Square, you know that, going up there, there would be not another soul around. Shows were closing right and left, and I said, no, we gotta keep ours open, because, you know, Canada would look. They were closing because of the cold? Or? Yeah, because people just, I mean, you know, they have just these fires. Yeah. They worked in their offices in clothes, and the pubs were doing badly. People just went by and huddling over anywhere that they could get warm and keep warm. And nobody went anywhere at night. And to produce again in England, you had to find backers? Yeah. Because yeah. the lyric, I mean, that's uh, yeah. a rental bill. Yep. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. And how long did you play the lyric? We played the lyric, I don't know, perhaps two or three weeks, and then moved into the West End of Prince Charles. I mean, right. whatever, yeah. The lyric Hammersmith. Right. And then moved into the Prince, uh, to the Prince Charles. Right. Yeah.